uh, in this project we measure the flatness of the surface um, this is the user interface of this project um, these are start and stop buttons uh, the ebon height, the flatness result is available in here uh, this angle says the positioning angle of the object um, OK or not OK situation is defined according to the tolerance range the type number of the object it comes from PLC and this is the date and some information about the status of the project of the program um, in this first image view you see a 2D image uh, having the results of some measurements uh, this 2D image is saved uh, and recorded to the uh, local PC in the first image memory uh, you see the down sampled uh, some post processed uh, point cloud normally the resolution of the scanner is higher but in here we we deliberately make it lower according to the uh, customer vision for example the fourth image memory is the exaggerated view of the uh, sample to show the trends on the surface and the fifth image memory is the raw data uh, we also save the raw data uh, in the local PC so I will give give you some information about the uh, program uh, for example when we run it it does all the operations and then shows the results in here uh, this is offline point cloud no, right now we are just loading the already obtained one and do some oper operations for example, uh, let me explain you some important features of this program. We do communication using PLC, uh, TCP IP communication. Uh, there are some communication commands in this program, such as this one. Um, we define the port number and define the data format and in this uh, communication command for example we are a receiver we are a server and PLC sends us uh, for example a start signal at this very early stage uh, and when it sends start signal we start the program uh, let me find the next important command that might be beneficial for you this is uh, according to the type number we define different properties for example uh, the length of the each type is different that's why when PLC for example sends us the type number 02 uh, we change the scanner settings so that it scan it will scan uh, a shorter object having a hundred millimeter length and we also define the AOI as we can see each different type has different settings and we set these uh, different settings according to the type in this uh, command later on um, we also check whether the send data is uh, valid or not for example if PLC sends uh, 20 then this is not in our list so it will not continue it will say invalid uh, input
our next important command is uh, this one again according to the type number we define some post process parameters for example customer uh, would like to make some trim operations uh, based on the type so that's why uh, this table can be used uh, to define some parameters of the post-process operations um, the next operation that I find useful is uh, by the way these are the camera settings that we optimized uh, for example in here uh, you can down sample resample your point cloud uh, according to your needs if you don't need uh, too many millions of points in your data uh, you can just down sample it and make it faster your reduce your process time and have less condensed data we do some post process in here you can choose your uh, filters, median, Gaussian, or so on. Uh, we find the angle in here. Uh, then the next command I would like to show you is this evaluation command. Uh, for example, the customer said that his uh, tolerance is 30 micrometers, so that's why we set it like that so if the uh, flatness measurement is below the 30 microns we say that this is okay piece if it is larger than 30 microns then it would be uh, the opposite it will be not okay it will be classified as not okay so according to this command uh, we define that uh, we save all these results into CSV file and as I said the raw data which is available in the fifth image memory is also saved in the local PC and uh, additionally we also save the screenshot screenshot is, looks like that uh, there are some results which are next to the point cloud project is like this and it is currently uh, a running project we accomplished this one uh, thanks for watching then